Hello everyone. Welcome to this short video on the seven top connectors and modules for Enlight Solutions. Hi, my name is Mark Gatos. I'm Chief Marketing Officer. Thanks for taking some time to listen to this short video. This video came out uh, specifically from one of our customers asking, what are sort of the top connectors and modules we can purchase uh, that sort of augment and improve our Enlight Solution and provide more value? And so that's where this came out, uh, thanks to Paul Mays, our resident uh, metric expert who pulled this information together and I'm presenting. But again, the focus of this is to give you a short, concise um, overview of sort of the main connectors and modules we're selling to our customers today. So without any further ado, I'll jump into it. The fact that you're listening to this video indicates it's a good chance you're already an Inlight customer. And the connectors and modules that we'll be discussing here are uh, additions, augmentations, improvements on top of Inlight Asset Optimizer, sometimes referred to as NEO, Inlight Energy Optimizer, sometimes referred to as NEO, and then Inlight Asset Explorer, which sometimes we abbreviate as AE. If you ever hear the term Platinum, that's referring to Inlight Asset Optimizer and Inlight Energy Optimizer sold together. So again, today's top seven connectors are the, uh, the top seven connectors and modules that have been purchased on top of these solutions. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of the list with number seven, so let's get going. So what do I mean by Inlight connectors and modules? Well, these there's a wide variety of these particular connectors and modules. Here you see a partial list. And what they are, are additions often to integrate with other solutions listed here, for instance, that's on the top, ServiceNow CMDB, ServiceNow Change Management. These are connectors which have been pre-built to connect to those particular solutions. In the case of modules, we have things like uh, Inlight Receiving, Inlight Auditing, and so forth. So that's what we're referring to when we go through the seven uh, top uh, connectors and modules. So in the seventh position, the seventh most sold connector module, module for Inlight Solutions is Inlight System Utilization Monitoring, which we sometimes abbreviate as InSum. And some would argue it, it can stand alone on its own, so it may be not connect, uh, necessarily considered a module, but often it is bought to augment uh, Inlight Asset Optimizer. And the whole point of this solution is to monitor within the server or in the uh, switch to get the CPU monitoring of that, those particular devices. And you can identify underutilized uh, servers and, and switches. You can identify ghost servers that really are not doing anything except absorbing power and wasting energy. And the goal is to really raise your server utilization rate. So again, this is number seven most sold uh, module and, or connector, and it's in like uh, system utilization monitoring. The number six most sold connector or module for the Inlight Solutions is the Inlight uh, RF code connector. This connector uh, connects to the RF code asset manager. For those who are not familiar, it's an RFID solution. And it shares information between Inlight Asset Optimizer and RF code. So if you're tracking those assets using RF code, you can populate that information automatically inside um, the Inlight Solution and synchronize information back and forth. So again, if you have RF code, you can synchronize that RFID information between the two different systems. So the fifth highest sold connector or module for the Inlight Solutions is Inlight Receiving. This is a module that's decide, designed really to seamlessly work with the Inlight Data Center Infrastructure Management Solution, specifically with NAO, so that as items come back on your back dock or you receive them, you can scan them and it's automatically verified and put into the system and it initiates the next, pro next step in the process of your workflow to actually get those assets installed and connected to power and networking. So a nice solution as items are coming in, it automatic automatically helps seamlessly uh, improve that process and help people get assets up and running as fast as possible. The fourth highest sold connector module for the Inlight uh, Solutions is Inlight Audit. And this is a, mo uh, a module that does exactly like it sounds. It's really designed for the audit process and allows you to go and scan audits and really with an inexpensive handheld barcode scanner 
or with a, a, a tablet, and it allows the user to scan in asset tags, confirm that information, and really add it to the NLight content database. Great for, for audits and improving compliance. So again, number four in our countdown. So now we enter the top three most sold connectors or modules for NLight solutions. And at number three, we get NLight for virtualization. We have a variety of virtualization connectors for VMware, Citrix, Nutanix, Oracle, Microsoft. So this is number three. And really what this is designed to do is a connector into the virtualization hypervisors and capture what's actually running on those physical devices. So this connects you the virtuals to the physicals. So you have an idea if you're gonna be doing any sort of changes or enhancements or major, major modifications, you can know what's running there and potentially move those assets to uh, move those applications to other assets. Very important to understand what's actually running in those particular virtuals so you can map it again back to the physicals. Okay, and here we are coming down to the final ones. The number two most sold connectors or modules for the Inlight Solutions is that number two, Inlight for change management. And really this is where you take Inlight, tie into those change management processes, whether they're with ServiceNow, HP, BMC, Assurewell, Avante. And what you're doing is tying into those processes. So if somebody's making changes up in the ITSM system in the change management, and they're asking for changes that are down at the physical level, those particular changes, let's say you're adding servers, can be punched down into Enlight, and then that kicks off the workflow that needs to be performed in order to meet whatever the, the change management system is requested. Then that is being tracked and updated into the change management system, and then when completed, it's closed, and it's closed out in the ITSM system. Again, we have a variety of different vendors we support, but this is number two, the number two most sold uh, connector or modules for uh, the Enlight solution. And for those who are waiting with eager anticipation, the number one sold connector or modules for the Enlight solutions are Enlight for CMDB integration. Again, we tie into a variety of different CMDBs, ServiceNow, HP, BMC, and so forth. But this is number one, and this one's pretty straightforward. As information's being caught inside Enlight and NAO and NEO and Asset Explorer, that information can be taken and passed up into a variety of different CDB, CMDBs, as well as pass information from the CMDBs, such as ownership and so forth of assets, back down into Enlight. So this uh, multi-directional synchronization allows you to keep the CMDB updated, as well as the Enlight solution updated. Uh, updated. Very, uh, very useful for both sides of the equation to make sure people are dealing with the most accurate, most current information to perform their jobs when they're depending on that CMDB. So folks, that wraps up our uh, top seven connectors and modules that are sold to augment and improve the Enlight uh, core solutions. Uh, if you would like further information, feel free to, we to reach out to info at enlight.com or come to the enlight.com page and click on resource resources. We have a variety of white papers on all these connectors and modules as well as uh, case studies and videos of people speaking about how they're leveraging those connectors and modules on top of their Enlight investment. Thanks, and if you need to reach me, I can be reached at mark.gatos at Thanks again for listening. We'll see you on our next webinar.